Here it is, you guys. April 22nd and uh, it is now time to remove the transmission previous videos is clearing off everything that was up here um, removing the axles was another one and on this video this is my buddy's SR20 GT IR swapped B13 uh, Sentra SCR and we are removing the transmission which will be a couple bolts around on the bell housing there will be this motor mount down below. I am currently debating on removing the cross member just because I have to slide the axle out with the motor. Um, previous video, you guys will see I had issues getting this out. I can't get it out, so it's gonna have to get dropped with the with the transmission. I'm gonna have to undo these guys, this guy, this rear mount. So, a little bit, little bit of stuff to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart. Probably start with the underneath, unbolting everything underneath and trying to decide what exactly I'm gonna want out of my way. Um, but yeah guys, enjoy the videos. Let's go ahead and get started underneath the car. Remove the transmission so we can replace the clutch and flywheel. Looking at this now, I think I am going to go ahead and just remove the cross member. These two bolts, those two here, and then I'll re remove it off this guy here. If you're able to see it, that bolt. Um, yeah, I'll get this guy out of the way and then I'll remove this mount. I tried removing this, but I don't know if this bolt is like welded here. To where it just has a nut on the back side but i don't remember this being like this on my 200 sx i thought this all came off and on uh with removing that nut but not sure what's going on here or if it's just dirty or rounded off i don't know but yeah i'm gonna remove the cross member get it out of my way and keep trucking so i'll turn it off probably real quick while i get that nut off or that bolt, I should say, yeah, that bolt right there, if you're able to see. Okay, here is the cross member. I forgot to turn on the camera. There was two 14 millimeter bolts right here, which were right here. And the radiator core support. And then there was a, shoot, what was it, 14, I think it was, bolt that went through here. Shoots, right here. Yeah, it was a 14. Then, there was the rear motor mount, right here, and then there was two uh, cross member bolts, which there they are right there, and so you can see it under the car, there goes those, and that rear uh, bushing, that bolt that went through that went into here, there's like a welded nut there. So that's how to remove this. I'm still having issues trying to get this sucker off. Um, I'm gonna see if I could kind of tap this out real quick and see what I can do next. Okay, so I can't seem to budge that. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I swear this is a bolt that goes all the way through. But regardless, I'm gonna leave it. There's two, this is like a, like stud-like bolts on this mount 
that holds this. I can't seem to get it from back here. They seem like they're not, like the thread's all jacked up. So what I'm going to do is remove this mount, which there's a bolt there, bolt there, and another one right here. I'm going to go ahead and remove these guys so I could move this down and uh, maybe just leave this alone. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully the camera lighting is decent. It looks like it is. All right, guys, I got it all off. It was two 14 millimeters and the top one was a 17 millimeter on this back bracket for the rod. I did get those little 12 millimeter nuts off. There's two of them. Just like that. This mount's now off. And these rods are now off. I swear this bolt should come out, but I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. bracket slides off so yeah I guess it's just better off just to remove it from those top ones so I'll just put this back right here try to leave all the bolts where they came out so you don't get lose anything or forget these guys have definitely been worked on before because uh, they are not very edgy. They're pretty rounded looking. But regardless, I was able to get it out. I'm gonna put all these back in. So I can recall when I put it back together. And you guys can see with the mount off what this all looks like. That one you don't wanna put back in. That one holds uh, the transmission onto the block as well. So you don't want to put the bigger 17 millimeter back in. All right, and that is this part of it. Everything underneath should be off now. I'll take a quick look. Give me a minute. Okay, that's everything out of the way underneath. For the time being, I do want to put this guy here. Um, it's just when you remove the motor, there's no, remember there's no rear mount, front mount, and soon to be transmission mount. There's just gonna be the one passenger side motor mount holding the motor. So you'll still want something to support the motor up. And if I'm able to get the transmission out, I will hopefully be able to get it back in at this angle. If not, I can always lower it with this at that angle that I'm going to want it. Um, so let's start working the other transmission bolts. There's one missing here. There's this guy. There is the farthest one on the back is going to be the starter bolt. One there, one there, and here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get working on these uh, bolts right around here and then the transmission mount, which I think I'm gonna take it off of this one after I do these. So I'll do the transmission mount last. Okay guys, so I'm having issues getting to that starter bolt and the other starter bo bolt because all this harness in the way. I've already removed the other bolts it's just two starter bolts left, and I'm going to I'm going to remove this bracket that holds uh, this guy here, the shifter cable, or the clutch cable, I should say. Um, so yeah, I'm removing this bracket so I can get to the starter bolts and kind of have a little bit more room to play. That this wiring crap right here is a headache to work around. All right, so the starter bolts are out. 
these guys here. This was the bottom one with the extra washer. Um, note to myself. Now, this ground, don't forget the battery ground. I'm just gonna drop it with the battery ground for the time being. Uh, and then there's a chassis ground. This is not one of my grounding kits, but there's a chassis ground that needs to be removed. Maybe I will just pull it off the transmission. Yeah, I probably will. Less things dragging around. Okay, this ground wire was removed from the transmission. I think I'm gonna try to remove the transmission off this, this mount here and see if I'm able to pull it out with just doing that. Everything else should be out, so everything should be good. It's just removing these three bolts. All right, this mounts off. Remember, I'm trying to pull this uh, transmission out with the passenger side axle on, so that's gonna be my challenge. But looks like it's ready to come apart. So I'm gonna use a screwdriver, kind of prowl this out a little bit, pry it out, I should say. decided I'm just going to actually remove this mount completely which should be two 14 millimeter bolts I believe up top uh, so I'm gonna get those removed real quick and then come back down here okay got it out the middle uh, bolt to that bushing that also comes out so loosen it up because it goes into uh, the chassis so I did not know that until now now let's go ahead get back to this guy. There it is guys, transmission is out. Um, there goes the starter laying kind of low right there. There goes the pressure plate, clutch is in there, and then the flywheel. But I'm gonna try to He-Man this axle off right now. Transmission is in the garage. I could not pull out the axle and I'm a little bit tired from trying so I'm gonna leave it there, but put all the bolts back as best as I can um, I put those back into the chassis the cross member bolts cross member bolts I set the bolts where they needed to be <clears throat> Right here 
transmission mount bolts. So next video will be removing and installing the new clutch and flywheel. There goes a the starter just hanging out right there. Right there for now. But yeah, there it is guys. Gotta get this sucker replaced, get the new one in, and see what's next for this car. I have not, I don't know, I think the owner's going to uh, possibly do a P11 transmission on it with an LSD, and I need to convert it to hydro or something like that. I don't know, the owner's still deciding what the heck he's going to do. But um, this will be it for this video, guys. So like subscribe share and that's how you remove the transmission next one will be replacing your clutch of flywheel thanks guys